Hey team, welcome back to Drax Toys Reviews, your ultimate destination for action figure reviews and collectibles. Today we've got something truly special uh, for all you X-Men fans out there. Uh, from Mondo Collectibles, we've got Omega Red. Uh, number four or five in the line. A hard one to get. I think it was originally a uh, San Diego Comic-Con exclusive, but he's arrived. Uh, let's have a quick look at today's haul before we get onto the review. And remember to like and subscribe for more awesome content. Um, let's have a look at the uh, today's haul. Today's haul comes from uh, Lobos Collectibles in Victoria. So if you're ever down there, check out Lobos. Dennis and the team are great. Uh, we've just got Dr. Terra from the Centurion's Power Extreme line. Uh, I think 1980 something. Not gonna go into the year, but we'll review him in the rest of Centurions in another video, uh, but good to have uh, him on board. Comes in a packet poster and stuff as well, so great haul today. There he is, Omega Red, big box. Uh, heavy actually, I think it's about, it's right up there with the Sabretooth uh, in terms of bulkiness. Uh, there you can see the storyboards of Omega Red. Um, and you can see there's sort of a 3D element to the cover with the, uh, the tentacles. See that? Cool. Uh, let's have a look at the blurb. There he is, Omega Red. I'll put this up so you can have a look. Uh, what's his name? Arkady Gregorovich. Rozovich. Built to be a uh, super soldier like Captain America, I guess. And uh, things didn't work out like that. But um, heavy box, looking good so far. Um, yeah, let's have a look inside. There he is outside the box. As always, Mondo have packaged their product pretty well. It's been wrapped up in plastic. No paint app issues on this one. Uh, those two extra head sculpts are looking really great and uh, you have to be really careful with the ponytail because it looks like it's sort of glued on. I don't want to mess with that. Um, but he's standing about 13 inches tall. Uh, definitely captures every uh, terrifying detail of the uh, from the X-Men animated series. Let me see if I can put the rotisserie on. Well, yeah, heavy figure too. So you can see uh, they're the accessories it comes with. Uh, four tentacles, two small, two large. Two head sculpts and just two set of hands on this figure. Uh, Paintwork is done by Tom Rojowski. Uh, very great and uh, awesome. It looks really great. Uh, white and red. Um, yeah, paint apps are fine on this one. There's a few little blemishes there on the back. A few shiny details. You can just wipe those away. But uh, very good job by the team at Mondo. And this looks like it's come straight off the, the TV screen there. And you can see there the grey blue highlights in his hair and the red and silver accents on the suit are pretty much spot on. I'll put a, uh, a picture up now of the uh, animated series and just see how close he is. In terms of articulation, again, careful with these figures because they're stiff out of the box. Um, but you can move up his shoulders up to the, the shoulder pads there. Uh, got board joints as well on the knees and elbows. And um, yeah, plenty, plenty of uh, posing options. I think I'm going to go with the angry face and the scary hands and get some tentacles into him and see how he looks. Um, but yeah, so that's pretty much it. Let's get on to the uh, final display figure. Wow. And there you have it, guys. Mondo Collectibles Omega Red. Uh, great attention to details. It's just interesting with Mondo, I sort of feel like they're balanced, there's a balancing act between figure and statue, right? Because these things, I'm not sure, they remind me of a NECA build, which is like, the you know, NECA figures will stand up for a while and then they just get really loose. Um, so I'm not sure, we'll see how time plays out on that one, on that front. Uh, but I did have to use the hairdryer on his head to get it in there. The ball joint was way too tight. I had to use the hairdryer on the hands to get them out. Um, and it just takes a little bit of heat and, and they, they become pretty loose. So, um, But like I said, you can't overhandle these things. But listen, Omega Red looks fantastic. Let's put the rotisserie on if I can without knocking him over. 
So it'll be a nightmare. Yeah, he's got his two tentacles there, so it comes with four. Uh, pretty light on on the accessories on this one, but um, yeah, really good. And just look at those carbonadium tentacles, absolutely amazing. Hopefully they stand the test of time as well. Uh, just got a metal rod inside that you can pose. Uh, like I said, paintwork's looking really good. There's a little chip on the shoulder. I'm not sure if I did that or if it came out of the box. But overall, paint's looking uh, great. Uh, this is going to go great in that snow scene with uh, Wolverine. So let's get him out here. Looking great. So what's the relationship between Omega Red and Wolverine, you may ask? Uh, so Omega Red, whose real name is Arkady Rozovich, is a Soviet super soldier created as a counterpart to the Weapon X program that produced Wolverine. Both went... Uh, underwent extensive genetic and cybernetic modifications. Um, wow. Uh, Omega Red and Wolverine harbor a personal vendetta against each other. Omega Red seeks revenge against Wolverine and his allies for their role in thwarting his plans and contributing to his suffering. So that's gone on for quite a little while, but um, yeah, looking great. Great job by Mondo. Continue to do the great work. Uh, let's put him in the display and see how he looks so there you have it what's your verdict wonder omega red is an exceptional addition to the x-men animated series line uh, attention to details great paint apps are good but again just need to be careful with the um with the movement and um yeah you need a uh, hair dryer to essentially warm some of the joints before you start moving them when they come out of the box that's just some advice um, but if you're a hardcore X-Men fan or a collector of these Mondo lines, I think it's worth it even at these inflated uh, eBay prices. So just some comments for Mondo if you're listening. Just make more of them, please. Um, and there you have it. Mondo's collectible Omega Red. If you enjoyed this review, uh, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Um, and also, uh, if you've got any comments, just leave them below. And thanks for watching as always. Stay awesome and happy collecting. And that's it for the Mondo line at the moment, waiting for Gambit and Rogue to arrive. I haven't ordered Cyclops yet. I uh, wanted the uh, exclusive one, but uh, obviously hard to get because it's sold out. So, um, yeah, I think I like Wolverine there in the middle. He's the glue that binds them, right? <laughs> anyway thanks very much for watching uh next up we might move on to another theme um something from the 80s i reckon so thanks again speak soon cheese